Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can mount your Wi-Fi router using a single mounting screw to dramatically improve the Wi-Fi connectivity within your house. Let's get to it. There are a few advantages for mounting your router on the wall. Firstly, it frees up space within the house because otherwise the router will have to sit on top of a surface, like a TV console or on top of shelves. Secondly, if positioned well in your house, it can help to boost your web browsing experience since placing it at a higher position minimizes interference from other electronic devices and obstruction from your furnitures. Lastly, depending on how you cable manage your setup, it can actually complement the interior design of your house. I held back from doing this project for the longest time because the Wi-Fi router is something that we are likely to change every 2-3 to three years. Most of the router that I own has two mounting holes and they rarely have the same distance between them. The thought of having to drill new mounting holes on the wall every time I make a switch really don't make a lot of sense. To get around this, I thought of an idea and that is to use acrylic. I got a leftover 3mm acrylic plate that I messed up from a previous DIY project, so I will be using part of it for this project instead. The main idea of what we are trying to do here is to only have one mounting screw drilled into the wall to bear the weight of the acrylic and router. We then use two smaller screws that are screwed to only the acrylic plate. They serve as mounting screws to hold the Wi-Fi router. In this way, whenever you replace a router, all you need to do is just to reposition the two mounting screws. The screws that I'm using here comes from the IKEA Fixer screw and plug set. I'm using the smallest screw I can find since load bearing isn't a concern here. A total of 3 screws are used, of which 2 of them were trimmed using a plier so that it's short enough to be screwed into the acrylic plate. As the screw tip has been trimmed off, it can be quite hard to install the screw onto the acrylic plate. I had to use the original screw to tap the hole before installing them. To save you some trouble, I recommend purchasing a shorter screw instead if you are doing this. The next step will be to drill the single 5mm mounting hole on the wall, inserting the plastic anchor and then installing the acrylic plate. The 5mm hole on the acrylic is free to rotate, and that will allow you to do fine adjustments to level the router if required. The remaining work left will be to cable manage your setup to your preference. I used some extra cable trunking that I have and stick them to the wall using 3M double sided tape, followed by concealing the cables within it. To give you a better perspective of how I planned my setup, here is the floor plan of my house. Before starting this installation, you will need to plan the position of your router and ensure that the Ethernet and power cables are long enough as they will need to run vertically upwards. It is quite typical that homeowners place the router near to where the optical fiber point is located and this is exactly where my router used to sit. However, this leads to very poor wireless internet connectivity over in bedroom 1 and 2 and the kitchen. To fix this, I moved the router and modem outside bedroom 3 which is somewhat the center of the house. I achieved this by using a 10 meter optical fiber cable and then running two separate data cables from the router. One connects to the TV in the living room for a much better video streaming experience and the other connects to bedroom 3 where my workstation is being set up. A few additional tips. If your existing Ethernet cable isn't long enough and you happen to have extra cables lying around at home, you can consider buying this RJ45 coupler to extend the Ethernet cable length. That's it. 
It is also not advisable to use multiple of these for a single connection, as it might degrade the data signal due to additional points of failure. The stock DC power cable that powers your router may also be too short if the height between the available power point to your router is too far. To address this, you can either purchase the same rating power adapter that has a longer cable or rely on a power adapter extension cable. Both products are linked in the video description. And with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and I'll see you next time.